Time has come to finish our trip along the rotations. What happens in rotation 6 on a volleyball court? The setter starts from position 6 and he needs to move just slightly in order to find his ideal position. The opposite starts from position 3 and spikes in position 2. An outside hitter first row attacks in position 4. The outside hitter second row starts from position 1 and should be ready for pipe attack. The setter can call the meter in front unless the reception is towards position 4 and to play with him or over him with the outside hitter in order to stretch play. This rotation is very suitable for calling the middle behind the setter and to play with him, over him or in position 4 in order to tear up the block. As in other rotations, the setter can call the middle at a distance and to play with him or behind with the opposite where he'll face not very well organized block. From the perspective of the opponent, they can try to isolate the first row spiker with their serve. As the libero is beside him, he can make an effort to help, especially when the serve is from position 5 to position 5. In certain situations, a team can try to receive the float serve in a formation of only two. They'll share the two halves of the court and in this situation usually the opponent aims at the outside hitter in position 1. If the outside hitter in position 1 is not that good in reception, the libero can cover him also or at least let him be responsible for receiving in a very limited area. What are your further suggestions for Volleyball Explained? Comment in the section below and do not forget to subscribe.